Some matches end in the emergency room. I was trying to dodge my opponent. I tried and then I twisted my knee. Did it hurt? Yeah, it hurt a lot at first. I also heard a noise like something tearing. The doctors at the Regensburg University Clinic are specialized in soccer injuries, and they certainly don't lack for patients. So, Hannah will be operated on immediately. She's torn her anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL. The surgeons want to replace it straight away. The patient's gender determines how exactly they do it. There are different techniques when it comes to the choice of tendons. In women, we look at the musculature to decide which tendon to use as a replacement. We know that relationships of the muscles on the front and back of the leg vary in women, and we take that into account. The team performs around 250 of the operations a year. Long-term studies show that the knee remains more stable if two cruciate ligaments are replaced. However, replacement surgery won't protect players from re-injuring the knee. Torn ligaments remain the most common injury in soccer, especially for female players. Women are five times more likely to injure their ACL than a male player is. The expected rise in interest in the sport among women due to the Women's World Cup and the fact that more women will be playing soccer afterwards means we need to develop prevention programs. In other words, we need to develop ways of helping women avoid ACL ruptures. And that's what sports science researchers in Freiburg are working on. In the lab, they're trying to determine why soccer can be so hard on female players' knees. They've discovered that women have less strength in their knees and softer connective tissue. Women players also move differently than their male counterparts, especially when they jump. Landing can cause major problems. A woman's knee joint is rotated inwards more than a man's is. An orthopedic specialist would talk about a valgus deformity, meaning women's knees can buckle inwards, and that, of course, puts a great deal of strain on the frontal plane of the knee joint. Soccer shoes specially designed for women could help. Smaller and lighter, they also have a different sole. The phenomenon that can cause problems is at the contact point between shoe and field, the shoe's traction. Women's shoes should have less of it than men's do. When the stopping traction or force is too high, it can place a huge strain on the joints. We can't talk about good traction. What we need is to find the optimal traction for an individual athlete's musculoskeletal system. That's what we need to be aiming for. In addition to special shoes, the sports scientists also recommend that women go through a different training regimen. This is the hamstring musculature. These flexors insert here under the knee joint, and it's their job to draw the calf up and back. If they are developed sufficiently with strength training, they then can perform that task well and lower the mechanical strain on the ACL. Above all, it's the right kind of training that helps players avoid tearing ligaments in the first place or aids recovery once it's happened. Hannah's surgery went well, but it'll be weeks before she can even consider returning to the pitch.